Hey and hello, we are going right now to a movie, Homeschool's Awakening, Homeschool Awakening, uh, Kirk Cameron, and we are going to give you a little, um, I don't know, review of what we thought. All right, so come along with us. Let's go. Um, Julia, we really don't have any expectations for this movie, um, but I think it's a really cool thing that they are putting out especially since there are so many more homeschoolers. Um, especially this, I think, coming fall. Okay, we're running in. We're obviously late, but that's okay. Here we go. I know, here we go. Okay, so we are back in the car. And Julia, oh, you got the sun there, Julia. It um, was for so me. Let's, let's just talk about what Juju thought. All right, go ahead. It was very boring. <laughs> I thought it was a movie, not like a documentary. Like, <laughs> I thought it was like someone that was like their kids and then they started to go homeschool. But no, it was like people talking. The whole time <laughs> but that's okay because there you go there's the truth that, that that's that's what she felt but tell us one thing that you liked about it like it's like the truth you can have fun while they're doing homeschool you can always do fun things because a lot of times you just when you're not homeschooled you just sit in a classroom like all day and you can go out and do play and do all those fun things so I like that. Yeah. I think it was interesting. I looked at her one time through the movie and I said, uh, Juju, do you realize all this stuff that these families are doing are kind of interesting to people? Like they, uh, but to you, is this normal? And she's like, yeah, this is normal. I, like, this... why do people think this is weird? This is just normal for me. <laughs> like, this is totally normal. Like, why do people were... think weird? That's what we do. We have a little yeah. thing. Just, we just hang out with friends and learn about stuff together yeah this is normal <laughs> this is not weird at all to her like learning in someone's house is not weird is it no it's no it's normal to me because i've always done it I, I really appreciated kirk cameron for doing this and i um and i'll talk about it a little bit more but I, we got to get back all right what's another thing you were talking about on our way home there's actually like other people doing it because a lot of times you feel like alone like oh i'm the only one doing it i'm different from other people but there's a lot of people that are doing it there's a lot of people that are doing homeschool and you're not the only one doing it and a lot of people forget that like oh i'm the only one but you're not a lot of people there's doing a it. lot of people doing it Okay, these are some things that I want to share about the movie that I really um, enjoyed and some things that maybe I didn't. I don't know if there was that many I didn't. Uh, we got there late. Uh, that's how my life goes. The, the, whole, the whole documentary was very, um, took out a whole bunch of different families, a lot of different ones. There were big families, there were smaller families, there were single parent families, there were uh, all sorts. It was a, a good mix. There were some that were religious families, um, and then there were some that, you know, I could probably tell they weren't as religious, um, because I know that a lot of homeschoolers are known for doing this because of their religion, which, um, you know, Kirk Cameron is a, a Christian, and he shares a lot of that in his, from his opinion about um, homeschooling and why it's so important in a in a religious sense from a Christian perspective so that's in there um, if that's just something to be aware of and um, and of course I'm Christian so I really enjoyed all of that <laughs> and actually that is one of the reasons that I started homeschooling was for um, my faith and being able to you know teach my children faith and uh, and science in the same breath you know so that was something, but just something to be aware of, because I know there are some homeschoolers out there that are, you know, um, 
are not religious. They are, you know, they just, they like the secular and that's fine. That's fine. But this uh, movie does have a lot of the religion in it. And a lot of the families that um, are, are featured are, are Christian. Another thing uh, about, in a general way, a sense of this movie is they take a lot of different uh, families that use homeschooling and do it in a different way. There are some of the families in this that they they traveled, they sold their homes, they sold everything, they bought an RV, and they traveled around. Um, now, obviously, they only had two kids at the time, so that really wouldn't work for me with eight kids. So there's all different ways that they show how other people homeschool. There was a cute little part where one of the families, the mom had to go for a week, and so the dad took over, which I thought was... I thought it was awesome and there was a little bit of talk about fathers and their role in homeschooling and even one of the dads gives a little shout out to all the all the dads that worry about homeschooling which I appreciated which I thought that was really cool one interesting thing also during the whole movie there was you know someone behind us but they were making comments you know that were cute that were like oh my word I didn't know that or Oh, that's right. That would, that's amazing. You know, by their comments, I am assuming that they are not homeschoolers, that they are, you know, researching it out. So that was, that was some reaction that I heard. Um, the people that were there were mostly families. I really didn't see, I'm, again, I came in late and we left before it got over. The movie theater wasn't all the way full, but it was, you know, it was full. Way to go, Idaho, because Idaho is a great place to homeschool. Um, that's the general things. Now I'm gonna let's let's go into some of the more specific things. So my favorite part were uh, watching the children, uh, especially the older children. I would have to say, the older children that were really getting into their interests and the things that they love. I loved seeing. There was one younger teenage boy that would was learning how to fly a plane and he would have flying lessons every week and they had the camera in there and I remember watching that and it was like this is what homeschooling is it is freedom <laughs> I really I thought that you know and it was it was really cool uh, another time just seeing the parents with their children now of course everybody's on their best behavior in this movie of course it's only the good you know the beautiful the clean home you know you're not gonna let a camera crew come in your home your homeschool and have everything be like a mess like my homeschool room is right now you're not gonna do that so everything looked pristine and beautiful everybody's hair was curled and no dishes were in the sink or whatever one thing I worry about is people homeschooling and then and then they come to the realization that oh I still have to do dishes and there's laundry and I have to clean up this school mess and I've got life outside of homeschool. There is some stuff in there that was missing. <laughs> and those were the hard days, the things that are hard about homeschool. So, I mean, there was a one little small moment, I do have to say, that they said, you know, sometimes it's hard. And one of the families, they actually got a tutor to come in once or twice a week uh, because they were both working and they had their own home business and so they brought in someone and they kind of said sometimes it's it's harder so they did address it a, a, a teeny bit but I guess um, that's not the um, emphasis of that documentary so but that is something to think about <laughs> um, I thought about it because <laughs> I was like "Ooh, what if they came into my home school with a camera crew Ooh not right now I would I would get it all cleaned up I'd put my makeup on like right now I have no makeup on but I did love I loved how the parents were truly into their children and helping them be who they are and not fit this mold that everybody thinks um, everybody has to be in and to truly let them be their creative wonderful selves you know and doing their school on their timing and in their way um, that was pretty cool. And I think a lot of the people around me, especially that couple behind me, that were, was really uh, intriguing to them. And I think that is, uh, that's the one thing that I love about homeschooling. And I say it all the time. So 
that was one of my favorite things. So maybe in the description, I will put all of my notes, um, just to th the things that I wrote down and I loved about the movie, because uh, I really have to get going. I'm going to girls camp tomorrow, so pray for me. <laughs> no, it's gonna be wonderful. So that is the movie. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it as a homeschool mom. Um, Julia, however, since she's a homeschool kid, was a little on the boring side. You know, that is all normal to her. So she's thinking, okay, what's the big deal? Why did um, I come to the movie theater for this? To see other homeschool families that, um, yeah, does all the same things that I do. Uh, that was kind of funny and cute. It is exciting that as something like this is uh, coming out because of the homeschooling trends that are out there and that it's becoming more and more popular, is becoming more in, uh, of a need for people, which, you know, is pretty cool and grateful for that. Man, if I had this when I first started, it would have been a dream. The things that I'm sure people are thinking, this is crazy, like, really, you, you get to do that? That is amazing. I just kind of chuckled under my breath thinking, yep, that's been my life for the last 23 years. So if you have a chance to see it and you've, or you have seen it, hey, in the comments, what were your favorite things about it? What were your aha moments or, oh, that's awesome. I love that. Put those in the comments below. That'd be awesome. Hey, and if you want to hear my story of how I started, please check out my Thanks for watching. I'm going to girls camp. Please pray for me. Toodles.